Welcome to Bridal Boudoir and welcome to you especially, Laura. Each week, a bride will be completely signing themselves over to our team, who'll work their magic, revealing how they've been going right or wrong with their choices of hairstyle, makeup, and wedding dress. Don't be scared, you look amazing. <gasps> oh my god. You know it's hard, but you trusted us, right? This is like the 1920s style shoot that never actually would have happened in the 1920s. I think he needs some help with the shape and the dye job really needs sorting out. It's just normally quite quirky anyway, but I think what we have to do is take it down and I think we really have to try and work on more of an expensive look. I think I found my wedding dress. Between them all, creating the most beautiful bridal looks and helping our brides to solve any wedding day dilemmas. Because I'm about to reveal the beautiful bride. God, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I now present the beautiful bride. A beautiful, stately home, a glamorous interior, filled with gorgeous wedding gowns, a team of expert stylists, everything a bride needs to be transformed for her big day. Bridal Boudoir. Today's team of experts are established bridal stylist Francesca Rowan, Celebrity hairstylist Severin Hubert. Celebrity makeup artist Shinta Miller. And creative photographer Gary Roebuck from Art of Boudoir. Today it's the turn of second time around bride to be Sharon Young. Welcome everybody, welcome to Bridal Boudoir and welcome especially to you, Sharon. Hello. Hello. Hi. Sharon looks after a young daughter with disabilities, which takes up all her time and energy. With no time to look for her own dress, and one that's both stylish and practical for her daughter Daisy, we came to the rescue. So we've got a great day lined up for you. We've got top hair and makeup stylist, we've got a top photographer, and you're going to have a fantastic photo shoot, and I'm going to be styling you throughout the day. So there's some champagne here and some soft drinks for the children. So sit down, relax, enjoy your beautiful surroundings. I'm going to tell the team you're here, and then we'll crack on. Thank okay, you. enjoy. Thank you. Let's meet Sharon and find out what her wedding day dilemmas are. Today I brought my mum. I brought my three nieces my sister who will be chief bridesmaid, my daughter Daisy and my brother who's going to give me away. My fiance, his name is Carl and we met at university. I was a performing arts student and he came to write a play for our year group so that's how we met initially. When we came back from getting engaged in Amsterdam and Daisy had also been away and we told her and she was just so elated. She said, I'm so pleased for you, I'm so happy for you. And she's my only child, so she's very precious. Daisy was born prematurely, 26 weeks, and weighed just over a pound. Um, she lost weight consequently, she was very, very poorly. She was fine for about 10 days and then she just um, developed a bleed in her head. So she's been through a lot, lots of, um, lots of procedures, lots of operations, and I'm lucky that she's here. Having been married before, I wore a typical meringue dress, which was in fashion at the time. Um, so I want to move completely away from before, but something that's elegant and chic, but I do like a bit of um, bling. <laughs> as well, but not too much. The team of experts now have to decide on the look for Sharon's bridal makeover. So these are Sharon's biogs. What I was thinking is this is her second marriage, so she wants something very different from what she had the first time. Her style now is quite simple and elegant, so I was going for classic, sophisticated, grown woman, um, natural look. I think we're going to accentuate the part of her body she likes and sort of disguise the bits we don't, but some detail, um, sensuous fabrics, and just a grown-up, sophisticated, classy look. My hair, I like it cold, but I feel that I need heights on my hair because if I bring my hair up and there's no height, it just, I don't know, it just seems to drag it down. What were you thinking, Seb, about the hair? Well, actually, I think you, you're right. We should go for something very simple and very elegant. Yeah. Um, I can see straight, sleek hair and very simple in the shape 
of the hair up. I think that's really nice. She's blonde, so we can't we can't go too big in a volume. I really want to play with a nice, simple, chic, elegant, and simple shape. And what do you think of a tiara? Do you think that would be good? I think we're going to have quite enough space to put play with a tiara on the top. Absolutely. I think she would like a tiara just to make her feel that sort of special look. And I don't think she had one in her first wedding, okay. so I think it'd be a nice, to, like, nice little touch. Yeah, let's play with the tiara. I think that could be something very nice. Today for me, makeup wise it would be important to learn how to do my eye makeup because my eyes are quite small so that when you smile and things in photos they almost disappear so it'd be good to be able to make them stand out that's for me is quite important I think with her makeup it would be really nice to keep it really fresh and simple when it comes to her skin but obviously we want to keep it a bit more sophisticated so let's go with a bit more taupey tones on the eye mm -hmm. um, and accentuate the irons as well, so it makes it look a bit more grown up. And also, today I think we should really focus on making this a lovely day for Sharon mm -hmm. and Daisy, Definitely. but I think Sharon needs a day for pampering, having some time to herself. I don't think she gets much of a break to look after herself, you know, all the time. So it'd be lovely if we could just make her feel really special, make a real lovely day for her. Absolutely. It for her. Today it will be lovely to have some pampering. Yes, I've had quite a... I've just finished at college, so that's the end of term. All the things that goes with dealing with Daisy as well, so it's not very often I actually take time out for myself, so to be pampered today will be lovely. Oh, yeah. Time for Sharon to hear what our expert team have in store for her glamorous new bridal look. Thank you. So, Shinta and Seb, talk through to Sharon what we're going to do today. Well, Sharon, was thinking about your makeup and thinking keep it really fresh and simple when it comes to your skin tone, mm -hmm. but we still want to make you look sophisticated and sexy. So looking at your eye colour, you've got lovely colour green eyes. I think it'd be really nice to accentuate those and put some really nice taupey liner, making it a bit more smoky, mm -hmm. sexy, but not overly done. It'll still look really fresh and simple. It'll be really easy for you to achieve yourself as well. It'll just give you a really nice flawless finish and your eyes will just look really out there and really gorgeous. And Sev, what are you planning to do with the hair? Right, we got a lovely blonde. We're going to simply brush your hair, stretch your hair, and I'm going to proceed with a really nice bun in the back. Very sleek, really smooth. On the front, I'm going to slightly put on the side, keep the parting you got already, slick on the side, and maybe if you fancy, a little bit of a soft curl on the side to soft and work with the makeup. Great, so I'm going to leave you and these guys capable hands, and I'm going to sort out some dresses for you. Sharon um, lost her dad four years ago. Her dad meant a lot to her. He meant a lot to all of us, and it is quite an emotional time. When I'm revealed to my family, I think it will feel emotional. Obviously, he walked me down the aisle before, but he's not with us anymore, so... And that was a very... Not a difficult decision as to who I would choose to do that. It's an obvious choice for me. So Sharon's asked me to give her away. I'm very excited to do that, obviously, and it's an honour. He's always been there. He watches out for her, and he doesn't like to broadcast it. But I think when you think about weddings, you obviously think of that, that ideal of the father walking the bride down the aisle. And I'm, despite being older, I'm still quite traditional. Um, so I think that's quite an emotional... Just thinking about it makes me, as you can see, <laughs> makes me emotional, so... Um... OK, Sean, what I'm going to do is just freshen up your face and I'm going to just tone it and I'm going to put some really nice primer and some really nice personal favourite of mine um, cream on, nice La Prairie cream that kind of just softens and smooths out any lines. That takes about 20 minutes to absorb into the skin. In that time, Seb's going to prep your hair for me. Putting a primer on just makes the foundation spread a little bit thinner, glide a bit smoother and gives us a nice photo finish. OK, Sharon. So now I'm going to start to prepare the hair. The best way for you, Sharon, mm -hmm. to just to proceed the same hairstyle on the day is to have your blow dry the day before. Right. To just get over it with a little bit of a straightener to give a little bit of a shine. And um, just a bit of a hairspray, a drop of serum on the length, and just to create very nice and slick um, hairstyle with a nice ponytail on the back. Mm. I'm gonna create a low bun, okay? okay. To give you a bit of, um, of the shape to cover a little bit of the back. Mm -hmm. 
Sharon's transformation is underway, and she already looks like she's beginning to relax. Well, Sharon, please, thank you. I'm excited about the makeover and transformation. I'm curious because obviously we don't have the mirrors to see what it looks like. Yeah, it is exciting. Your primer should have settled in, giving us a really nice smooth finish on your skin. So I'm going to go in and start using the La Prairie Caviar Foundation again. It really spreads lovely and you don't need to use a lot. It's really highly pigmented. So it really gives us a lovely flawless finish, but without having it look too thick on your skin. So in actual fact, your skin will just look really natural, but flawless. Cinta begins to create Sharon's makeup look by giving her a glowing complexion. Severing tongs Sharon's hair to give it some extra volume. For Daisy to see me looking glamorous and gorgeous, I'm not sure how she'll react. She can go either of two ways. Um, I've been wearing things sometimes or in a changing room trying something on and I think, oh, this looks lovely. And she'll say, oh, you look ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I couldn't gauge her reaction, actually. She'll either be quite comical or just very loving and give me a hug and things like that. Hi, how are you guys getting on? Done. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. You look fantastic. Thank you. So, Sharon, do you want to have a look? Please, See what they've done. Okay. Please. Shinta, will you shake your Okay, you ready? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Here you go. <gasps> Gosh, that is lovely. My eyes. I love the eyes. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. What do you think of the hair? Can you see if very, it's very sleek. It's a style that I wouldn't have thought of, honestly, but it, it really it's very you, slick. Don't you yeah. Think? It's beautiful. And let's see the back. Back yes. is superb. Coming up after the break, Sharon plucks up the courage to reveal all for a sensual photo shoot. And bridal stylist Francesca Rowan finally reveals which gowns she's chosen for her to try on. Welcome back to Bridal Boudoir, where stressed out brides are transformed into beautiful blushing brides. Today it's the turn of bride-to-be Sharon Young. Her daughter Daisy takes up most of her time and her happiness is the key to Sharon being able to relax and enjoy the wedding day. The Bridal Boudoir team came to the rescue and Sharon's in the process of having the relaxing makeover of her dreams. It's beautiful. And Francesca can now finally reveal what treat she has in store next. Well, Sharon, we've now got some rather lovely lingerie for you to get changed into okay. for your photograph shoot. Thank you. So slip into this and we'll start snapping. Good. Oh, hello, Sharon. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Gary Rober. Okay. Sharon, we're basically a husband and wife team in Art of Boudoir. Lucy's going to be helping me with the equipment and lighting, but she's also going to be helping you with the styling. Okay. Now, we're all set up. Really excited about doing the shoot with you, Sharon. Um, can I just first ask you, have you done anything like this before? I've never done anything like this before, and I'm apprehensive, but I thought just seize the opportunity. It's a one, probably a once-in-a-lifetime experience, so go with it, go uh, with the flow. Absolutely, that, that's the attitude. You're going to look fantastic, OK? It does rely on subtle light, low lighting and atmosphere, mm. and most of all, posing. But just to stress, we're going to direct you through the pose, and you don't have to know what to do. Um, if you're not, we're not quite right, we'll just finesse that final 5%, yeah. and as I said, you're going to look, uh, look fantastic. Our job today is to make you just realise what a beautiful woman you are. You've got your hair and your makeup done fantastically, and um, you're going to be really thrilled with the results. So um, you're in a really safe pair of hands. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Great. Looking forward to the final results. We're going to start with your uh, dressing gown on, and just to give you a little bit of confidence. And it suits this style of posing anyway. So I'll just get you to move your elbow back onto the, onto the rest there. And this knee, we want you just to bend slightly. That's a nice pose. And the last thing we need to do now is just angle your head in the, in the correct position. So remember, this is a boudoir. It's all about luxury and extravagance. Mm -hmm. You're on your own. It's quiet and intimate. So you're not looking at the camera for these shots. 
And while Sharon gets on with her confidence-building photo session, hair and makeup have some surprise pampering in store for her daughter Daisy. Okay, Daisy, you ready for a little bit of makeup? Because you've got lovely, pretty pink on, what I'm going to use is a highlighter to make your cheekbones stand out, and it's got a pink satin finish. It just lifts everything and makes everything look really shiny and pretty. For Daisy, it is for me about finding the right dress because I'm concerned that it's very difficult because she's little, she's 16 years of age, and I want her to look age appropriate as well. And to wear something where she looks stunning, both sitting in the chair and also walking. So to help Sharon with Daisy's outfit, the team styled her in a lovely pink bridesmaid dress, perfect for her age and height. OK, Sharon, now we're going to move on to, to the next pose, which is a little bit more ambitious, and we're going to try this without the, the dress again, as you did so well on that first one, OK? okay. What we're going to do is get you into position, and then we're going to get Lucy to take your dressing gown away. How does that sound? OK, so what we're going to do is get you to turn onto your front. Lucy, can we just take the, the hair from the, your, your right eye? That's it. And then I want you to look up in that direction, Sharon. Bring your chin down just a fraction. Just sort of relax your shoulders as much as you can. I know it's difficult. That's great. Bring the light around this way, Okay. Oh, I think I've got everything we, we need. Thanks very much, Sharon. Time for Sharon to see how glamorous she looks. It really is you. <laughs> Very different to what you're used to, but uh, yeah. they look fantastic, don't they? I'm really shocked, really surprised, yeah. and pleasantly surprised. Yeah. You look absolutely amazing. I'm really, really glad that you like them. I mean, you've got fantastic hair and makeup, and it just goes to show that with the right lighting and in a safe pair of hands with the camera, then um, you know we can reveal how beautiful you truly are. Yes, I do look good. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> fantastic. Yes. The experience has been, yeah, it has been liberating. Something, and particularly when you get older as well, you know, you're not supposed to show your body, and everyone moans about how your, you know, how your body doesn't look so good. But I feel really good seeing those photos. Really good. I'm really surprised. I was expecting to look at the photos through, kind of, through. <laughs> through my fingers thinking oh no I can't look but um I'm really surprised how I look and I do feel yeah gorgeous photography over and Sharon is beginning to look like a new woman it's now time to enter a world of beautiful wedding gowns shoes and accessories we like to call it bridal heaven well Sharon welcome to the bridal boudoir what do you think many lovely dresses. I can't wait to try them on. I feel like a child in a sweet shop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've selected three dresses I think will suit you best in sort of the look that we're trying to go for today. They're from Enzoani, which is a fabulous designer. Um, now, if you want to come over and have a look, these are the three lovely gowns. So the silhouettes are all quite similar. They've got um, all strapless, but then we have a full sort of fishtail skirt. But what we've done is we've found different details to pick up. So it's still going to look very elegant and classy and sophisticated, but the detail um, is going to be varied. So we see what you like best or what suits you and what you feel more glamorous or more comfortable in. So this one, for example, has got beautiful lace. That's it's gorgeous. a tulle skirt. And then the majority of the lace is up here, and then it cascades down into a sort of waterfall over the top. And then we've got lovely beading there, a bit of diamante. I know you like to Diamante. And this has got a lovely frou frou sh um, shrug, which you can wear before, you know, at the church and then take it off for the evening or have it throughout the day, whatever you feel mm -hmm. comfortable. And sometimes people feel self conscious about their shoulders or their arms. So a shrug's always quite a good option. Now, this one's also tulle, but this is a layered tulle, which is very princessy, very romantic, very pretty. And instead of having the diamante around the bust, we've just got a simple ribbon and then just a simple diamante there with a little rose, which we could always pick up in your hair as well, which would be lovely. And then the third dress is a beautiful, sumptuous silk satin. 
which has got lovely draping across the top, across the bust, which is a really good, strong detail for an elegant, classy look. And then we've got, again, the Diamante and a bit of lace there. And this one also has a very, very long train. Okay. Now, out <laughs> of these three dresses, are there any that particularly catch your eyes, sort of look you were going for? I think out of these two... Out of yeah. these two are your favourite, This is This is very different. Yeah. And I'd love to try it on just because it's so different to what I've envisaged yes. wearing. Yeah. Yes. And what is it about these that you like so much? Is it the tulle or the... I do like the tulle, yes. And I like just the, the detail, the but it's quite minimal. Yeah, you don't want to have detail. too much. You no. want to be classy and simple and elegant yes. rather than having too much bling no, everywhere. No, no. OK, well, great. Let's go and try these on. Thank you. We'll start with this one. So come out, Sharon, let's have a look. Right, now if you turn round and face the mirror. So, Sharon, what do you think of that? Is it what are you expecting or not? No, it isn't what I was expecting, but um, I didn't think I would like something that's close-fitting. I felt as if I would go for something more that comes in at the waist and out. People are often very self-conscious about their hips if they've got sort of more smaller torso and bigger hips. But what this does, especially with the shrug, is it balances your hips out. So because you've got lace there and lace there, the lack of lace in the middle pulls your waist in. This makes your boobs look a bit bigger. This balances your waist, and then the shrug sort of balances the frou-frouiness of the skirt. So, in fact, you go become quite hourglass rather than pear-shaped. Yeah. Is that something you feel slightly self-conscious about in your wedding dress? Do you think sort of your hips or your figure, or is that definitely okay? So, in, and in this, do you feel happy and beautiful and confident, or do you feel that there's something it's not quite right? Not quite right. Not quite I'm right. surprised that it looks as good as it does, but I don't think it's the do one Do you think for there's me. too much going on, or do you like all the detail? I think there's too much going on. I yes. think we need to simplify a little yes. bit. I think you look absolutely gorgeous, but I think we want to go, uh, you know, focus a bit more on your face rather than lots of things yes, going on. Too, yeah, it's too much. Okay, let's try on the next dress then. Okay, thank you. Right, let's see dress number two. So, what do you think of this one? We put the same shrug on, but obviously it's a different style of dress. What do you feel about that? Um, I'm probably less sure of this one. I like the fact that there's less going on. Yeah. But it's it's still that conscious thing of... You feel these yes, shows feel very hips hippie. More. Yes, okay. very hippie. And should we yeah. see it without the shrug as well, just so you can yeah. see what the, whether you like the strapless style without anything on top? What do you feel about that? It's a little big there, so yes. just... But, now I like this. I do like the strapless style. But what you feel conscious about is your bottom. Yeah, yes. the thing with the last one is you didn't have so much emphasis on no. your bottom, um, and with the draping that does bring attention to people's different parts of wherever the draping yes. is. So maybe we will rule that one out if you feel self-conscious about yes, your bottom. Yes, definitely. Do you yeah. like the chill though? I do like the chill. Yes. And I you like the fact there's less detail. Yes, I wasn't too much with the other one. Too much lace and just everything going on in the one dress, but. I like this is more simple, but um, this. <laughs> no. Okay, well, let's try on the third dress. Okay. Okay. So let's look at dress number three. If you turn around, I can pull the. Now, this one's got a lovely, lovely long train, probably the biggest <laughs> train that we've looked at. Now, what Someone. do you think of that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you feel out lovely the, in out it? Out of the three, that's the one. You look really, definitely. really lovely. I tell you why, because again, we've got the lovely bust feature with the simple draping. Mm -hmm. We've got a bit of diamante and a bit of lace, but it's not too much. It's no. elegant, it's simple, it's classy. We're accentuating your waist and your bust, but we're not bringing any attention to your bottom. No. At the back, you can't see, there's a little bit of a bustle here, yes. but it's not focusing on your bottom, it's actually below. Mm -hmm. So it's bringing the attention lower and it's very elegant and then that goes into the wonderful train. And then when you're dancing, what we could do is you can bustle it up like that or you can have it on a hoop and have yeah, it like that when yes, you're dancing. Yeah. Now I've got a little shrug here. Mm -hmm. If you want to see what that looks like. That's a bit of extra ooh-la-la. -la. Oh, that's quite nice. Do you like that? Yes, I quite like that, yeah. I'd it's nice to have something just to change it during the day if you mm. wanted to, and that also adds a nice texture to it because it's not, you know, it's not got a lot of lace or anything on it. So if you wanted a bit more detail, you could have some a bit of fluff, which makes people feel sort of romantic and yeah. glamorous 
How do you feel? It, it feels lovely. I do like this. I like the simplicity of it. And I think it's more stylish and more elegant than all of the others. I, th I think it's the material. It just has a regal quality to it. So. Yes, it's very sumptuous and um, sort of, it is very sophisticated. This is what a lot of Oscar dresses are made out of, a lot right. of evening gowns. It's that really sensuous, luxurious fabric and you can feel it's really yes. beautiful quality. It's heavy and yeah, it just feels, feels more of a dress. Sharon has tried on all three dresses chosen for her by Francesca. She now has to decide which one is her favourite. Do you think we've found the dress of your dreams? I think you've solved my wedding day dilemmas. So That's brilliant. It's been a big help with the hair and the makeup. Well, I think you look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. I feel gorgeous. Carl's a very lucky man. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Sharon looks absolutely glowing with her gorgeous new makeup and fabulous updo. Francesca has found her the dress of her dreams, and all that's left to do is to add the final accessories, ready for her big reveal. So what do you think Daisy and your family are going to think when you walk through the doors? I think they'll be surprised. It's a totally different look for me. Really? Yeah, with the hair and makeup, and yes. Do you think they'll be a bit emotional about it? Or... I think some might be, yes, maybe my mum. <laughs> Coming up in part three, Sharon's gorgeous wedding day style is revealed to family and friends for the first time. to Bridal Boudoir, where stressed out brides are transformed into beautiful blushing brides. Today it's the turn of busy mum and bride-to-be Sharon Young. Daisy, her disabled daughter, takes up a lot of her time, so the team decided she needed a day of bridal pampering <laughs> and styling. They worked their magic and created a brand new look for her, showing her how to create the right look for her age and body shape. Sharon's family and friends have been waiting patiently to see her new look all day. And finally, that time has now arrived. Well, I know you guys have been waiting a long time today, but the transformation is done and we are now ready to reveal Sharon, the beautiful bride. May I present the bride, Sharon. So what do you think? What do you think, Daisy? <laughs> and Sharon, what do you think of Daisy? <laughs> Daisy, you look gorgeous. You look so grown up. Oh, come here. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> do we both look beautiful? Yes. yes. <laughs> Doesn't she look like a princess? Yes. Yeah. And look, she's got this long train at the back. She looks like a queen. So what do you think? Is it how you imagined her to look? Not any odd. <laughs> she looks very regal, doesn't she? Dumbstruck. <laughs> you ain't gobsmacked. Yeah, gobsmacked, <laughs> yes. Sorry, I was trying to say a more polite word. <laughs> and Sharon, what do you think of Daisy's look? I think she looks beautiful, yes. very elegant, very grown up. You look beautiful. I look beautiful, thank you. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, come here. Oh, come here. It's hug time. It's hug time. Well, Sharon, I know you came here today to be made over and to solve your wedding dress dilemmas. Is this how you would like to look on your wedding day? I feel stunning. Really just So, yes. Well, we have a surprise for you, which is that everything that you're wearing, the tiara, the veil, the jewellery, the shoes and the dress is yours to take home as well as Daisy's outfit as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank so you this is how much. you're going to look. Thank you. <laughs> it's our pleasure. Thank you. When Sharon Young arrived today, she had no idea how to create a stylish and age-appropriate bridal look. Plus, her busy family life was leaving her no time for herself. The team worked their magic and created a gorgeous and stylish bridal look for her. And unbeknown to Sharon, they also waved their magic wand over Daisy, 
and found her a dress which suits her shape and height, adding a bit of glamour to the look with a marabou shrug and accessories. Stylist Severin Hubert created a stunning bridal hairdo for Sharon using 1930s vintage as his inspiration. Makeup artist Shinta Miller chose nude and classic makeup colours, showing her how to achieve the look at home. Bridal stylist Francesca Rowan chose a gorgeous bridal gown from the Enzo Ani collection, simple but elegant with a touch of glamour. The stunning headpiece is by John Richard. The bracelet and earrings are by Susie Warner, and the shoes are by Freya Rose. Daisy's dress is by Love Me Do, and her shrug is by Sasso Bridal. Well, there's one last thing to do. We have to open the champagne and make a toast to Sharon and Carl. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm feeling gorgeous and stunning and just a whole different look to how I thought I would look. It just goes to show that the ideas and preconceived ideas and notions of how you can look can be changed. I wasn't expecting it at all. She looks beautiful, she looks stunning. It made me speechless. I'm totally shocked and pleasantly surprised that I've been given the things to take home. I really didn't, didn't expect that at all and it's such a wonderful gift, which means I'll be able to achieve this look on my wedding day. I feel very emotional. Sharon's transformation is amazing. When she arrived at Bridal Boudoir today, she had no idea what gown suited her and what she should do with her hair and makeup. Just a few hours later and her bridal look is sorted, as is her daughter Daisy's. So there's only one thing left to do and that is to raise our glasses to Sharon and Carl and say cheers. Cheers everybody. Cheers. Next time on Bridal Boudoir, another bride-to-be gets the makeover of her dreams. Wow.